Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Cassie Nall and for the rest of your Thursday, your Christmas Eve, again the warm and muggy weather continues here on the Sun Coast. The nastier weather for travel plans is actually to the north of us, anywhere from New Orleans up through Atlanta and actually as far north and east as Washington D.C. and Baltimore. That's why this, where this afternoon not only heavy rain but also potential for strong to severe storms continues. So heads up if you're traveling to the north of the Sunshine State. Now again here on the Sun Coast, despite the clouds that we have around, Again, we're in that very warm and muggy air mass. We've got those breezy south to southeasterly winds, and we are expecting our high temperatures this afternoon to tie or break records around the Sun Coast with highs forecast to reach the middle and upper 80s. Those are temperatures we would more likely be seeing in early October than late December. Then tonight, our lows will be maybe a degree or so cooler than they've been the last couple of mornings, but still almost 20 degrees above average. We'll be falling down into the upper 60s to around that 70 degree mark. Now, as we go through the next couple of days, we are still going to remain very warm and humid, but eventually we'll start to see a bit of a pattern change. For now, that frontal boundary that's across the deep south today is actually going to be retreating back towards the northwest, allowing just a little bit of slightly drier air to come into the area for tomorrow. That means tomorrow won't be quite as muggy as it was yesterday and today, but then by the time we get into the weekend, we start to see that humidity once again ramping back up as high pressure continues to be in charge of our forecast. That means that our record highs are in jeopardy today, tomorrow, and Saturday too. We very likely will see the warmest Christmas day on record tomorrow on the Sun Coast. Finally seeing those temperatures start to abate just a little bit as we go into the early parts of next week with the next frontal boundary set to arrive into the state by mid to late next week. Looks like we'll have to wait till next year to see some cooler temperatures here on the Sun Coast.